Hi, hopefully you have watched my first video regarding my theory on a cyclic universe and the other three relating to Metatron's cube. In it, I tried to explain why the universe is only eternal in time and not infinite in space. Space only exists inside time and is constantly changing or being converted from mass back into energy as per Einstein's E equal mc squared. In the first video, I reached the conclusion that the universe is not a place or physical object but only an event or story. The universe is simply movement or change over time. I have to stress once again, the universe is not a thing or a place. When you look out into space, you are only looking back in time. So, if the universe is indeed an eternal cycle, why does it appear to have a definite start? When cosmologists and physicists look back in time, we can only see as far back as approximately 13.75 billion years. Before this time, there appears to have been no universe. I have two very plausible explana explanations for this. First, when we look back in time, roughly 13.75 billion years ago, what we see as the beginning of the universe is probably only the beginning of our current cycle. My theory is that the universe is an eternal equation or balance between energy and mass that runs in cycles of 60 billion years. This closed system reaches a threshold where all mass is eventually converted back into energy and a new cycle begins. That is why when we look back 13.75 billion years we only see the start of a new cycle. This does not mean that the universe is a physical circle. All that is happening is that energy and mass are constantly being converted in an endless cycle. This theory is far more plausible than a Big Bang singularity event which does not explain where all the energy came from or what force drives inflation. Where you are expected to believe that the entire universe was once compressed into an infinitesimally tiny and dense space that has now miraculously expanded faster than the speed of light. No, in my theory the energy that creates the universe is eternal. From the laws of, of thermodynamics we know that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can only be converted. The universe does not start in a tiny space and rapidly expand. The universe starts everywhere, that's all 360 degrees, at a single point in time. It is already massive from the time each new cycle begins. It does not rapidly expand because it is not a thing or place. It is not like a balloon. The universe is only an event. It is the conversion of energy into mass and mass back into energy and in, a, in an eternal cycle. The universe only exists in time. Each cycle starts at a single point in time and ends at a single point in time. There is no magic force capable of accelerating entire galaxies away from each other as per the Big Bang Theory. The universe is already massive from the start of each cycle. Our universe only appears to be growing bigger as more and more light reaches us, or rather as the story or event unfolds from every perspective. My second theory as to why we see a distinct beginning to the universe about 13.75 billion years ago is a bit more disturbing. What if the lifespan of a photon of light is only roughly 13.75 billion years? So when we look back in time and we see a cold uniform cosmic background radiation as we do in YMAP, maybe it's because all light has simply decayed beyond the microwave and we simply see nothing before this. In this case the universe could simply be recycling for all time with no distinct beginning or end to each cycle and no matter when you look back you will only ever see up to 13.75 billion years into the past. In this scenario we are simply trapped in time for all time. I don't personally like the thought of this. It makes me very claustrophobic like being buried alive for all eternity. I personally favor the, the distinct cycles with a beginning and an end to each cycle as I believe that there is an intelligent creator and we are all here for a purpose. That purpose is story. We are all a part of the great cosmic story of God. We tell the story of how God came to be and what God is. Without a creator we would not exist. But in the same way without us there would be no creator. 
how could there be a God with no creation or intelligent life to contemplate the existence of God? The cycle of existence is an eternal relationship between energy and mass, between creator and created, or simply put, E equals MC squared. Please look out for part 3 of this video where I supply more mathematical proof to support my theory.